everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here in my library in our beautiful home in Zoodesia. And we are in here because not only are we checking up on Persephone, who is our wonderful librarian kitty cat, but it is pouring rain outside. So just as I woke up and got ready to start the day, wouldn't you know it, the rain is just pouring down everywhere, which is going to be very good for our little fledgling gardens that we have, but not so good when I wanted to dance out in our garden and say, hello everyone! everyone and welcome and primrose how are you and carlos doing and a lot of you guys have said get primrose a room but i actually think she likes being out here where all the people come by darling walks by a lot some of the animals walk by a lot just being able to you know interact with everybody is probably really good for her also primrose i'm gonna gently pick up your little torch there we go. I just, I feel like I'm going to catch my pants on fire every time I try to go down to my root cellar. So that's, that's a good thing. <gasps> darling! Mm, take that, darling. All right. And then we've also got some oh, delicious breakfast for breakfast this morning. So I'm not hungry just yet, but as we get hungry later, I do have some maple syrup waffles and a couple things of raisins and some delicious soy milk to kind of start our day. So I'm actually really looking forward to that gonna put this away gonna put lunch away I have some footlongs Ooh, footlongs and garden soup actually might be really good together so we'll save these Ooh, maybe some fries too mmm that's yummy and we will save those for later but we've got breakfast to eat if as we need it later today and we have some projects to do today because the voting has finalized! All right, you guys ready? I've actually uh, gone ahead and prepared a little list so we can do our best because we have been so busy with the many, many, many projects in our world and our many awesome friends and all of the events and the new people on the server and it's been fantastic, but look at our zoo! And what, what zoo, you may say? Exactly, what zoo? We have a few exhibits. We have the Red Wolf exhibit, the Confucianist. We've got, um, We've got our chameleon and hummingbird exhibit. We have our peafowl exhibit, but really that doesn't make a zoo and they're not even properly connected and you can't really see them all together. So we are going to be working really hard on trying to catch up on exhibits and holy days, I need to get that garden area under control. We might do that later. Oh my gosh, it's out of control. But we are gonna try really hard to get at least three or four exhibits done this month. And one of the exhibits is a real biggie. It's a whole different part. I don't think there is a really good spot to put it um, here where we currently live. So we might have to put a teleportation stone down. Maybe not. Maybe Maybe we'll just like work our way into the birchwood forest and carve out the exhibit I'm thinking of. But without further ado, you guys voted on it. You guys had the straw poll and you guys picked what we're going to have for this month. So I took the top two winners and I added two that I want to see done myself. And dun 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 dun! The current exhibit projects are the Southern Chinese Tiger, the Meadow of Horses, the Freshwater Ray, and the White-tailed Deer. And the Southern Chinese Tiger was the winner. Thank you guys so much for voting oh my goodness it was so cool you guys there were almost 700 votes 700 votes that's 700 committed souls who want to see our zoo grow and want to learn about all of the different animals that we could possibly have so you're gonna learn a lot about tigers while we work on the southern chinese tiger exhibit and actually fun fact there are many, many, many tigers. Almost all of them are in Asia right now. Uh, or some of the, like if you're counting, maybe the Indonesian, it gets complicated. Basically, they're on the continent of Asia or the islands thereof. They count on that continent. But uh, we're going to do the southern Chinese tiger because it is one of the most critically endangered species or subspecies of tiger. There's only about 45 individuals left, I think, and I think they're all under protection because unfortunately, as you may know, uh, China kind of has an appetite for tiger parts and tiger pieces and um, tiger skins for old style medicines or just for the... You know, I mean, it's not just China. They're they're the, on the top of the list for when it comes to illegal animal trade. But, you know, tigers are beautiful. And there are people who would rather have their skins and covet that beauty that way rather than admire the living creature. And hopefully, through all of our education and through all of being able to have you guys as our community, our pixel biology community, that can go out into the real world and campaign for the real animals that we love and share on our planet, hopefully we can tip the scales on that in the future. But for now, we're going to 
have fun building the Southern Chinese Tiger exhibit over past the chameleon exhibit. We'll go look at where I'm starting to prepare the area for that in a little bit. And that's going to be our first project. And our next project is going to be the biggest one of the month. And it's going to be kind of interesting to see if we can get this done <laughs> because it's the meadow of horses. And if you guys remember, we used to have a beautiful farm. We had a gorgeous little farmhouse. We had a wonderful farm. We were starting to breed some of the rare horses. We were starting to get villagers moved into our little village. And it was fantastic. And that was the meadow of horses. And unfortunately, the meadow of horses uh, was lost when the old world was deleted on us. And we need to build a new meadow of horses, catch some new horses, um, maybe have Cinnamon the second in honor of our season one, world one horse Cinnamon, who is so wonderful. But we're going to have a farm! So fields of wheat, fields of corn, finally being able to have enough material for when we go cooking, and lots of beautiful horses, many of whom we may take out on rides. We might even build, like, maybe a horse racing place where we can race horses with our friends. We might have some, like, horse talent shows. We might just have some, like, horse beauty contests, even. And we can just do that with our friends, so that way the horses could win medals and things like that. I think that'd be really fun. The Freshwater Ray exhibit is a small, fun, exciting little exhibit. We're just going to have fun building that. It won't take too long, and it'll be nice to have one of the smaller exhibits. It's going to be tucked up against the peafowl exhibit to be able to reflect on. So that's going to be fun. And the White-tailed Deer exhibit just feels like it would fill in that area. Oh my goodness, rain. Really? really rain but it feels like it would fill in the area across from where the red wolves are very nicely so that's why i want to get those two exhibits done just because they're simple they're easy and they'll be a good compliments to the bigger exhibits we already have done so that's the projects for the month you guys i'm so excited these are our current projects we're going to do honor by them it's going to be fantastic but before we get started on that we actually have some mail that jude is guarding that we need to go check on and before we do that i probably need to empty my backpacks really quickly. I hope you guys enjoyed the mining expedition we went on with Mara. Look at all of these ores. Look at all of these gemstones. Diamond shards, fluorite shards, malachite shards. There's mosinite shards. Oh my gosh. Golden barrel, black barrel, goshenite. I can't even pronounce some of these. Aquamarine. There's a silver nugget, which is very intriguing. Alexandriite shard. Um, there's a malachite ore. Here's the amber ore, the uh, chrysoberyl ore, very pretty. And this is the fluorite ore, which actually has the chance of giving you some diamonds. So we're gonna go ahead and break it open because we use the raw counting mod. This is very pretty, very, very pretty. I wanna see if it has diamonds. Oh, it doesn't have diamonds. This is something else entirely. <laughs> Never mind. it was fluorite, just normal fluorite. I don't know what I'm doing, don't mind me. But we're going to go ahead and put these shards away. And I'm actually going to put uh, the malachite ore maybe up here. Where's the malachite, actually? It's very pretty. I really like the malachite. It is just gorgeous. It's beautiful. I know the comments are going to be screaming with excitement over Steven Universe with all of these, these different shards. Or barrel, if you're into uh, Stellar Moon. Barrel is indeed a shard that used to be talked about quite a bit. All right, and we'll put the diamond away. I need that so we can make more multi-page chests, some of which I could probably use in the kitchen because, oh my goodness, I never have enough room in my kitchen. And then, let's see. I'm going to put some of these ores away. The amber ore. I want to put amber down here. I love how I tried to trap the ghastly souls we unleashed when we made some eyes of ender. I just, I just don't... I mean, what do you use them for? To make an ender portal. Like, that just doesn't bode well to me. Oh my goodness. What else? I mean, ugh. I wish I could trade them to the priest and be like, there you're a problem now. There you go. All right. I'm going to put some of these down here and Alexandria shards. And we have some coal. Finally, a little bit more of the peak coal, which we can look into in the future. But other than that, uh, lapis lazuli, more coal. What else did we find on that really fun adventure with Mar? There's some amber shards and eggs. We have like cassowary eggs of course we would be the zookeeper who has like skulls and biofossils and bloodstone ore and bits and pieces of stalactites and stalactites mixed in with like parrot eggs and here's a cassowary egg and don't mind this this is just a python snake egg oh my goodness that is so silly but that's totally us isn't it all right let's put that away and we'll get some little amber shards in here there we go and put the lapis lazuli away and I don't really want to spend forever sorting everything. Don't worry, guys. We just have a little bit of time. 
because, uh, you know what I need? I need a chest where, uh, ooh, this would do. All right, hey you. You nice, handsome, beautiful chest, you. I'm gonna use you to empty. There's my breakfast, delicious looking breakfast. And let's move all of this over here. And all of this over here. There we go. Sorry, guys. Ugh. Wait, I need this. <laughs> that was silly of me. I like empty the chest and then I don't even keep what I need. All right, so let's go ahead and just sort these puppies and get them out of the way so they won't bother us and we have enough room to do things. And we do that by just chucking it all in here. Ta-da! Hopefully we won't regret this one day. Oh, we need, oh, that's wood. Wood doesn't go in here. And we need to keep the fossils. And let's shove all this in here. And let's see, ores and metal ingots. I guess we'll put the little silver nugget, nug <laughs> the silver nugget, the silver nu nugget, there we go. Ugh. Over to the side, because I'm not sure what to do with it. Um, And the wood goes in here. I know, some of you guys really love when we sort stuff, so if you're one of those people, today is your lucky day. Not much longer though, we're almost done. Alright, Magnite. Now the Moonstone Ore, we're gonna save and give to our wonderful friend. Do, 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 do. Oh, and we have more Jade, yes! I need to make a special Jade thing um, for our Jade Bridge. I wanna make like a pretty little Jade icon that'll go over the arches on the bridge. I just haven't figured out quite how I wanna make it yet. But for our wonderful friend, Wynn, she is currently collecting up what she can of um, the Moonstone and building a beautiful temple out of it. Have you guys seen that yet? Because you need to go check it out if you haven't seen it. It is beautiful. And we're going to give her the Moonstone Ore as a goodwill gesture towards her build. So hopefully she can have a much luck and success with it. Do we have any other Moonstone? <gasps> Look at all that Moonstone we can give her. That is going to be fantastic. All right, let me go ahead and put all this away. And fossil, no fossils, get out of there. Uh, tiger eye or ciderite. Um, okay, there we go. And there's a little bit of shiny, shiny gemstones. Oh, man, I can't believe one expedition off into the wilderness. Okay, and then we've got cassowaries. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. And a roadrunner, and some of you guys were so excited. You like freaked out about the roadrunner. So we'll have to see what we can do about the roadrunner. All right, let me go ahead and finish inking those out. Maybe the jungle wood plank. These, okay. Oh, Mara's off to bed. Poor Mara, if you guys have a moment, please go over to her Twitter and wish her well, because she was in an accident uh, yesterday, it would be. So she was in an accident yesterday, and she's doing fine now, but um, it was very, you know, that's really scary. So if you have a moment, please go say hi to Mara on her Twitter or her channel and wish her well because that's just terrifying to be in, in car accidents like that. Dang it, Copper. Where do you go? Where do you go? We have 10. Copper. Copper. Ugh, I hate it when they decide not to play nicely. All right, and iron ore berry bushes. Put these away. All right, you guys. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Doesn't that feel so good to have everything nice and sorted where it belongs? And if you see things, if you see the gems, if you see like the stalactites and the stalagmites, which we're going to be putting into our Asian river cave coming up, if you see these things, tell me your ideas for what to do with them. I desperately want to know. Like all of the um, Jurassic Craft fossils, I tend to say for Ben, Pikmin Fern, how are you, sir? I still feel like I need to uh, clothe you. I still do. I need to like, we need to get some moss and like knit him a little loincloth out of moss or something. <laughs> maybe get him some friends too. I'm feeling like Pigment Fern could maybe use some of his own kind, but would they accept him? He is no longer, like he's really no long, what? Oh, it's a snail. <laughs> I was like, what's moving on the ground? Cause Pigment Fern isn't really a pig man, like a zombie pigman anymore. He is truly a pigman. So would they accept him? I am honestly not sure. Also, I have more broken ancient helmets and ancient swords and you can really shake a stick at. Wow. Okay, that's happening. Also, we have bone piles. Um, and while we're down here, I don't want to take too long, but we might as well go ahead. Let me put this away. Is this the best one? Paleontology 3 efficiency. Um, I think the Fossil Finder 3000 is the best one still. Fortune 3 Paleontology 3. Okay, we're gonna put this puppy down. And let's see what we get from our permafrost. We're gonna move quickly because the permafrost can turn into dirt if we don't move fast. <gasps> Yay, frozen, frozen meat. Good, good, good. 
and more frozen meat. All right, and this is the permafrost we actually found whilst we were mining with Mara. So let's see what it turns into when we chunk, like chuck it in there. All right, we've got some coal. <gasps> Fossilized Dilahavia seeds, that's new. I have no idea what it is, but it's new. It's going in the ancient plant specimen chest and we will work with it in the future. I'm very excited about that. All right, coal, gravel, sand, going in here for now. We're not gonna spend a lot of time nitpicking and sorting through things. I just wanna make sure everything's tidy before we get going. Is there anything in here? There's hardly anything in here. Maybe I should just steal one of these chests for the kitchen. But I think the lab chickens would actually get really mad if I did that. All right, ooh, Mosasaurus DNA. That's gonna make some of you guys super duper happy. And we're gonna store the fossils for now. Don't worry guys, we will have fun playing with the fossils in the future. Cause I know that fossil digging is a big passion. The fossil cracking days are so much fun. All right, <gasps> you guys, we've got lots of Smilodon and or that's, oh, they looked identical for some reason, but we have Smilodon and Mammoth DNA. So don't forget one day we will be moving into Arctic areas, covering things like penguins and polar bears. We have raw pork chops to give to the wolves, I guess. I might as well cook that and put it upstairs. I need another chest upstairs in the kitchen just to store food. Well, I guess that's what the whole root cellar is for. Hey, experiment 404. Um, yeah, don't you worry about anything. It's not like I was finding really odd things related to chickens. Wow, there's so many seeds. So we're having so much luck w for the first time with our plant seeds, at least. And potato, why is there always a potato? That bugs me a little bit. It's like, why the potato? All right, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put those away. And we're gonna put away these seeds. So we have some fossilized Benetitel seeds. So those are also new. Um, oh, those are these guys. Okay, good. So we know what kind of seeds we've got. <gasps> Sorry. Oh, this is the big, this is the big giant. This is the big giant crocodile. Oh, you guys are gonna be excited when we do that guy. And we will do him in the future. And Velociraptors. There we go. Let's put all these guys away. No, Roadrunner, or excuse me, Cassowary, get out of there. You may be closely related to the dinosaurs, Cassowary, but you don't count. Not yet. All right. I think that's good. Anything else? Nope. Anything else? Oh my gosh, another one. Okay, wow. Wow. Man, we haven't been doing fossils for a while because I feel like that was extremely more productive than usual. All right, ancient plant specimen and archeological discovery. Putting the stone tablet away, we're good. Hello everyone, hello little snail. Bella, I swear, oh, assistant freezer bunny. <gasps> Look at your little outfit, oh, it's so cute. I think that somebody has been down and somebody made assistant freezer bunny a new outfit. Oh, Alex. That's the cutest thing in the world. Assistant Freezer Bunny, you're adorable. Oh, and Bella Bella actually has, I think, a lab coat that I need to get her for her chemistry lab that Alex made her too. That is fantastic. So we're gonna put the Roadrunner and the two cassowaries away in here with the woodpeckers, the crabs, um, the Jurassic Craft animals that we have. And I think we've got a few more in this backpack. Oh my gosh, yeah. All the parrots Mara gave us. Wasn't that so nice of her? She gave us a ton of birds and we have a zombie that needs cured. I'll leave him down here because now we have three zombies that need cured, two of whom are stealing my safari nuts. And we have these parrots that we need to name. There we go, little parrots. And I want to give them a different exhibit than the one with the chameleons because we already have hummingbirds in there and it might get a little bit crowded and the hummingbirds already take up enough room as it is. All right, now let's get to work. Phew. Thank you so much, guys. It's just good to have that stuff sorted. And I'm gonna come over here where I store people's presents and we're gonna find, is there even a spot for Wynn yet? Near an A? Oh, there's not even a spot for Wynn yet. Oh my gosh, I need another chest for Wynn and Hook. That's so exciting. We're gonna leave the Moonstone Ore in here as a present for Wynn and we'll give it to her in the future because I need more presents. I just, I feel bad when it's like, here, have some rocks. Yeah, that's all, that's all, nothing else. Oh dear. All right, so let's go check on the mail now that it is a nice, beautiful day. Also, I start, like tidied up the side of our building a little bit, so we now have two even beautiful little burgundy hangy things. I'm thinking about maybe putting um, some like grafted, what do you guys think about putting some sort of flower or some maybe some grafted fruit things uh, right here on this, this little archway of our house? What do you think, guys? Is that good? It wouldn't grow doggy treats, but that would be really cool if we had a tree that grew doggy treats. Oh dear, and I brought Fossil Finder 3000 with me. 
Okay, don't panic. Just gently put it away. Oh, and I left all my gear downstairs. Ah, oh, Siri, you're such a silly person sometimes. All right. Well, let's go check on the mail. I promised Jude and we've taken long enough. All right, good morning, Jude. You have mail. This is fantastic. I hope you are doing well. I hope I did not offend your Enderman sensibilities. I'm very, very sorry uh, when we were kind of, you know, messing with that Ender chest and I used a lot of eyes of Ender and I really hope you won't take offense and it didn't end up working anyway and I probably won't ever use them again and I'm really sorry, but we, we can talk about this if it was, you know, if it put a strain on our friendship. Okay, thank you, Jude. Thank you. All right, whoop. The mill's not here, silly. You have to find it. Hint, it's in your house. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so someone's hidden something in our house. So that's going to be something we need to deal with today. Let's put the little sign down. There we go. And, oh, then we have other mail. All right. Oh, I know who this is from. We've got a squicken and a kiwi bird. <gasps> no way. I love kiwi birds so much. They're one of my favorites. Oh, these are definitely from Mara because of the salt. She knew I needed more salt for my kitchen. Oh, that's wonderful. Do we have any more? Oh, <laughs> we have more. Oh my gosh, look at this. Dematoid garnet and more chocolate. Oh, I bet I know who this is from. S light stone. Oh my gosh, this is definitely presents from Ben. Oh my goodness. You guys, we have the best friends, and there's still something hidden in the house. We have the ultimate best friends. Oh, why do we never have enough presents to give back to them? I just, I feel like they're always raining wonderful treats down on us. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Let's go and put the chocolate away. That's going to be, oh, and I added a ton of tea bushes even up on my tree. I don't know why. It just kind of happened. But I like them as decorative pieces, and they're useful decorative pieces because they're going to grow me more tea. But all right, I need to put this in the candy drawer that I have started. All right, and we're going to put these away. Put them in the candy drawer. We can have a little... Oh, I'm going to steal the chocolate bread. Well, it's actually a peanut chocolate. We'll steal that, and that can be one of our lunch pieces for later if, if we're so hungry. I need to move things around. There we go. Now, I think we'll save the squicken egg. I'm going to tuck it in here with all of the bazillions of other eggs. But I'm going to save the squicken egg for now, and we will hatch it special on its own day. So it has, uh, you know, a moment of respect because it's kind of, you know, squicken stuff. Let's see, royal jelly I'm going to put in with, wow, we've got a lot of stuff in here. Good grief. I have crab legs in here. What is going on in my in my cabinets? Why? Why do I have these things? I don't even know sometimes. I don't even know. All right, well, I'm going to throw some signs in here and continue to make the mess <laughs> bigger. Oh, and I have more jade in here. What is going on? All right, well, that's definitely not where the present is. I've got to stay focused. We have another present that we need to find in just a moment. I'm going to put the little royal jelly in here. And I'm curious about the demantoid garnet. What do we do with it? Oh, it turns into like the little lights. So these garnets added with stone and chips of maple wood. Oh, look at that! Okay, we need to take a look at what the lights do. Okay, I see you. Do you turn on? Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, set. Set. Okay. Uh, are you, are you on? Do you turn on at night? I think it's a light. I think it's like a, a, like very specific light. We'll have to play with that in a little bit. Oh, I knocked down my candle. Where'd my candle go? There we go. Oh, wow, that's a pretty candle. I forgot we had those. <laughs> that's a really pretty candle. Oh, this is cool. So these, because Ben said we had like perfect lights for using set and set. I wonder if it just has to be dark. Was that an arrow? Are you hearing this? Hello? Skeletons? Darling! Darling, tell me we're not under under siege by skeletons. What the heck was that? I feel very exposed. I need my gear. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna put these in here for now. Well no, I don't wanna put them in here. Is that, I didn't hear a zombie. I hear a skeleton. Oh <gasps> You guys! I think I found the present! Oh that was a really funny way of finding the present. Hmm, this looks a bit out of the ordinary, doesn't it? Alright. What's this? Oh my goodness. What is this? We're just doing iron armor question mark by Alex. What is going on here? 
Dear Siri, Hiya! I was watching how you love to watch the chameleons change color in front of you and thought, hmm, is there any way I can help Siri Blinden too? Well, it turns out I can. You see, the, the armor in front of you isn't actually iron armor. The stand it's on is iron, but the armor is magically camouflage armor. Is actually camouflage armor. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? I was in my garden one day watching the chameleons and noticed they enjoyed the ravine running through the garden. Unfortunately, they didn't like it when... <laughs> They didn't like it when all the chameleons were pushing each other off the edge. Oh no, Alex. Oh, Nightlock, get off the essence berries. Nightlock. Oh, he's going to drive me wild. I need to just move this specific essence berry bush. Oh my gosh. Oh, poor little chameleons. Long story short, I managed to get some camouflage dye from the ordeal. Eleven pieces, in fact. Rest in peace, chameleons. And I thought I'd craft you something special. I have enough dye for two more sets of camouflage armor, so if anyone else wants some, like Mara or Anasia, they can just ask me for some dye. Oh, look at the little smiley face. Alex, you're so kind, and he makes amazing just like clothes for everybody he makes amazing clothes for my cows he makes amazing clothes for my cats he makes amazing clothes for me it's amazing hmm i don't know if i want to become the server's trainer of chameleon blood but whatever have a lovely day alex p.s no chameleons were harmed in the making of this armor they died before i started crafting it thank you alex oh my goodness i want to check this out it's a full set you don't even see it oh my gosh so if I put it on, okay, Nightlock, Nightlock, tell me, how do I look? Okay, how do I look, Nightlock? Oh, <gasps> am I turning into a tree? Oh, let me turn into a tree. Okay, okay, what about now? <gasps> you guys, I'm one with the leaves. Oh my goodness. Am I a leaf or am I a dirt? I don't know. Oh, if you keep moving. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. Oh my gosh, it like changes colors. Okay, okay, and back up. Oh, I blend in with the leaves. This is perfect. This is so perfect. Just imagine using this when we are trying to, like, study up the animals. Oh, that would be so cool. Look at my little armor. Change colors, change colors. Be green again. Be green again. You know you want to. You know you want to, armor. <gasps> what if I stood on the mushrooms? Will I turn mushroom color? Oh, 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 it's turning green again. It's turning green again. Oh my goodness, here we go, here we go. Oh, and now it's brown again. Okay, well, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, we've got the camouflage armor. Whoa, am I turning a light color? Wow, so I think it like reverts. What about if I stand on the wood? All right, what about now? I'm green. I'm changing color. I'm changing color. I'm going brown. Okay, what about if I go on the dark wood? <gasps> I do shift colors. You guys, this is the coolest thing. Oh my goodness. What if I stood on the, the, the cherry blossoms? Okay, I can't jump from here onto the cherry blossoms. It's probably a bad idea. But that is so exciting. We're going to have so much fun with this. What else did he give us? Oh my gosh. Grapes. Oh, and curry and omelets and rubber saplings and a biofossil. Oh, see? See, this is friendship. These are the amazing things that our friends give us. And it's just, oh, it's just fantastic. I'm No, I'm going to leave up here in the mossy treasure chest now let's put it in the uh, gifts of gratitude and actually i want to get all of our old gifts of gratitude things out uh anything else i want to leave in here no i'm gonna take everything else wow we have some fantastic friends you guys ideas 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 on how darling oh wow martha that's a lot of eggs thank you martha okay there we go darling darling can you see me? <gasps> what if you can't see me? Oh, I match with the carpet. Look at me. Oh, that's adorable. I love it. I love it. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Okay, gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. What about now? Darling, I know you can't see me, but I promise I'm here. Oh, look at me. I'm the color of the wood, and if I keep moving, I'm still the color of the wood. It kind of changes a little bit. It's not identical the way the chameleons are, but it's not bad either. I like it. And there's that skeleton sound again. Did you hear that? Am I being shot at? Well, now you can't see me, Mr. Skeleton. You probably still can, but still, my point stands. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. So, and Nightlock is just climbing all over the place. Uh, as usual. Oh my goodness, guys. This is this is exciting, because we've definitely got... Look at all the letters we've gotten from our friends. Now that, 
that is a legacy we're building up of friendship and happiness and joy, and that makes me so happy. And there's the skeleton again! Darling, I better go get my normal armor. I know you can't see me kiss from kiss from the air. You have no idea what's that about. Oh, that's so cute. All right, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and put the chocolate away. No, I'm keeping the chocolate. Sorry, I got a little distracted because I keep hearing Nightlock, but I'm trying to keep my ears peeled for um whatever was trying to attack us. Why did I put the pork chops in there? There you go, candleberries. Nightlock, get freaking off the essence berries. That is driving me batty. All right, now I need this light. Let me go ahead and gather it. I'm gonna put these away in here for now. Might as well cook the raw pork chops because we're gonna need that for the wolves later to make the pork uh, sausages for the wolves. And I think we're good. Wow, I haven't even had to eat breakfast yet. I have been a little bit full. And let's come over here. I'm gonna put the finished meals that we have over here from our friends. Mara has given us more salt. Oh my gosh, what a day, you guys. Nightlock, you are driving me mad. You have no idea. I'm gonna make it so you don't walk on those anymore. Oh my goodness. And a kiwi. Okay, so let's go put the kiwi away. And my camouflage armor I think we'll keep for now to kind of play with. Because that is too cool. Alright, and down we go. Gonna get my normal armor because I feel like I'm about to be attacked with all that skeleton noise that was showing up. Alright, and here we go, here we go. Did you hear that? Where is he? I'm being shot at. I am a poor, vulnerable little Siri. I'm getting out my own bow and arrow. What is going on here? I keep hearing him. I just don't see him anywhere. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put away... What is going on? I'm going to go ahead and put away some of this stuff. It, ooh, in the machinery box. <gasps> in the machinery box is where we're going to put these lights that Ben gave us for now. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the amber and the amber shards away. And... Let's see, I'm gonna put the rubber sapling away in here for now. I hear a skeleton. A vicious, nasty skeleton. I just don't see one. I'm prepared to deal with them, as need be, though. You know, Pigman Fern, the longer this goes, the more I'm beginning to think there's merit in putting windows, not just leaving all the windows open, but there's merit in actually putting glass over the windows. Mm. But we'll worry about that later. Hello, Professor Cowplant. All right, I'm gonna put away the kiwi, too. Mm. Mara has almost single-handedly supplied us with a huge part of our aviary now. It's pretty amazing. And we haven't even got the squickens yet. Oh my gosh, and if you guys have not seen Club Squicken from Asia yet, you have no idea on what you're missing out on. And you definitely need to check that out because it's adorable. It's beyond adorable. It's beyond words adorable. So cute. All right, there we go. Hello, Bella. She's such a tiny cat. I love her. All right, and now it is night, but I think the other two, yeah, they're going to be mining. Now it's night and the other two are mining. We should be A-OK -okay, though. And let's go upstairs and pick some companion puppies. And we will bring our companion puppies with us so I can show you guys where we're going to get started on work. So the rest of today, we are headed off to the jungle and we are going to go check out where we will be adding in our beautiful Asian tiger. And Asian tiger is just a quick way of saying like a tiger. And we'll do the Southern Chinese Woo, sorry about that. There was a little server hiccup all of a sudden, but we're good. Woo, a little dizzy. All right, you good? You good, Primrose? Oh, okay, everyone's all right. And let us head out. I'm going to show you guys where we're going to start working. I think today it's mostly going to be gathering up um, some of the trees, making room, coming up with ideas for what to add for our tiger. I'm pretty excited. Let's see, Tate and Zoe, you guys came last time. I think Alia should come with us today. So let me go ahead and set her to follow. Do, do, do. Oh, we still have a bunch of eggs in here, too. I'll have to remember that. All right, Alia, you ready, girl? All right, let's see. And she's set to aggressive. And let's grab her brother, Pine. Because I don't think we'll be near any water for too long. All right, come here, Pine. And we'll have Pine follow, too. And I think we'll go... Do I want to do a zombie jerky? I feel like the dogs need to have a proper meal in their bellies if they are going to be helping us out. Let's see if we have some fruit in here. Oh, we are running low on the food already. All right, sorry, pup pups, but it is going to be zombie jerky for a little bit. So grabbing some zombie jerky. That we can actually replenish if we went and visited our... Dang it! Pine! 2.5 seconds! 2.5 seconds, Pine! Where are you? Did you teleport to me? 
Tell me you teleported to me. Alia? There you go. Pine. I know you want to be a fisher dog like your dad. I see it in your heart. No, listen to me, Pine. This is serious. This is serious. I just, I don't think it's a safe thing for you to be a fisher dog. I know. I know. It's really hard to come to terms with. I know. So rub the noses. No, no, no. Listen, come on. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay, Pine. It's really difficult. I know we have difficulty with the things that we want to do to be famous and happy in life. And I know you want to follow in your father's footsteps, but... You have your own path to go, Pine, and being a fisher dog probably isn't that path. Ah, oh, poor Pine. All right, so let's see. I need to find where the heck I put my my breakfast. Did I leave it downstairs? Dang it! We were almost ready to go and everything, and I left my breakfast downstairs in a chest. After all the trouble I went through to make those waffles with syrup, too. Oh, I love Zoo, Zoo Kitchen, though. If you guys aren't watching Zoo Kitchen, you're missing out on some good stuff. All right, we're going to have some uh, waffles with syrup. Ah, oh, that's good stuff, good stuff. Ooh, look, it actually is breakfast time. The sun's coming up now. So we're going to have some raisins there. All right. Good job, Alia. Seems like Alia's pretty good at climbing trees. She usually has really... Oh, oh my gosh. Go, Mara. Go, Mara. Oh, yeah. Go, Mara. Kill the Naga. Wow. Mara and Ben must have been off in Twilight Forest doing some work over there. That is amazing. So they just defeated a Naga. Well, that's exciting. All right. Where's my, where's my footlong sandwich? Ah, there it is. So let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to grab... Uh, probably just take all of our footlongs and a few garden soups and a blueberry juice. And that should be enough. <laughs> Mara's celebrating. It's adorable. And let's set off, you guys. All right. Oh, good job, Pine. I'm glad to see you're eager and excited to start today. But I'm going to show you guys where we are going to be putting the tigers. So I'm super excited about this. Now, did you guys know tigers love to swim? They are actually one of the only big cats that really, really are avid, very, very talented swimmers. And I can't wait to share tiger swimming spots with you guys. So we're definitely going to be making like a river. I'm thinking like a waterfall. Um, like not quite like this. Like think of like a really outjet like an outcropping of rock that juts out and then has a waterfall pour down it that's definitely part of the plan and in case you guys haven't seen it yet do 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 whoops one second let me check something okay we're good this is how the jade bridge is starting to come together the jade bridge that actually uses granite because we didn't have enough jade blocks at the time so it's a little bit cheaper but this is how jade bridge is turning out and i really like it so far but it's definitely lacking presence so any ideas that you guys may have i put some vines down the vines are growing along the side that really helps i lined it with some carpenter blocks that um carpenter's fencing that's like oak fencing um and i'm thinking about like putting either two jade blocks in the center of the column or having the columns like this and then a da vinci jade crystal coming out right here or maybe going circling around i can't decide I can't decide so I need some fun ideas for how to decorate the bridge and if you have like a really just bombastic amazing idea I will definitely give you a little shout out um, if I can remember <laughs> I don't remember many things I try but yeah that's the how the granite bridge into the fungi forest is going and this fungi forest is kind of step one into the Asian forest and we actually did some work here during the zoo kitchen episode yesterday to work a bit on making a beautiful orchard and you can see that orchard right here it is quite lovely uh we've got quite a few papaya trees here but these papaya trees are here because the birds the peafowl actually eat the papayas as one of the many fruits that they consume and the orchard is just kind of the trees growing together right now and the papaya are growing kind of slowly but they're growing See, we'll feed the pea fowl in just a minute. There you go. Come here. I gotcha. Gotcha, papaya. I wonder what else we can do with the papaya. What else can you do with a papaya? How many of you guys have eaten papaya in real life? I want to know. We could make smoothies or just juice it or make a papaya fruit crumble or make papaya jelly. Um, I've had a papaya and they, they kind of, they're not very sweet. At least the one I had wasn't very sweet. So I wasn't that impressed because I like my fruit to be a little bit sweet and it really wasn't. But that's the papaya garden so far. And if you guys have ideas for the papaya garden, please let me know. Because right now, it's just kind of like... 
uh, like a bunch of trees together, but I'm thinking like maybe making some proper paths or some benches, maybe making like a little bit of fencing up along the river, maybe, or flowers along the river. Um, and maybe have a little sign that like talks about the carrot fish that might inhabit the river, things like that. So those are some ideas. And we've got mushrooms overgrowing, you know, just coming in here and like cleaning up where all the grass is kind of overgrown. I love the grass but we want it to look more groomed because this is supposed to be, this is supposed to be our zoo. So we're gonna try to make it look a little bit more groomed as time goes on. That's the theme, more groomed, I guess. Oh, and there's some wild papayas. My goodness, the wild gardens grow so fast. <laughs> I really do need to keep them under control. All right, hello, hello. Wild sheep who is always right there. All right, got these wild papayas. There's a wild papaya down here. Eh. And, oh, oh man, really? All right, let's see if I can get it. Oh, there's two of them. There, did I get them? Yeah, I did. All right, so now we've got the papaya and we're not really supposed to jump in here, but we are. And let's come back and feed our peafowl. Hello, Dodo ATM. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Now that I'm figuring out the DaVinci mod a little bit better, we might redo his Dodo ATM stand. Uh, hello, Chim! You guys are just laying eggs left and right. Look at this! Hello, Garnet! How are you this morning? Noisy peafowl as always, I see. Alright, let's jump over here. Keeper Ethan, how are you? Let me see... There we go. Alright. And papayas! Alright, so we've traded the papayas to Keeper Ethan, and I'm gonna trade the little peafowl eggs, and actually, what that gives us leave to do now is come over. Hello, Peafowl. Yes, I know, I know. Thank you. Hello, the Peafowl. And come to the Dodo ATM. And I'm going to trade for wooden coins. <laughs> Block, says the Dodo ATM. And then even though we brought food, Crystal Seer, the Peafowl of Prophecy, hanging out over here. Hello. Ugh, okay, I know. I love you too. All right. All right, Amy. I'm going to come over and I'm actually going to buy... um couple people espressos because why not and how about some of the ruby melon smoothies to go with my my lunch that's what I'm gonna do because I want to kind of live it up a little bit today it's been a good day we've got our friends like giving us amazing gifts we're gonna get started on a new project and I'm gonna show you that area right now so I still need to make a contingency section right here so that we don't have our little hummingbirds. Hello guys! Hello beautiful hummingbirds. So we don't have them skittering away. There's a maggot. Let's see, I probably should have bought, I wasn't really thinking, <gasps> here's the little chameleons, chameleons, guess what? I can match you guys now. Oh, let me put on my chameleon armor and see if I can match. All right, all right, whoops, I forgot my little shoesies. All right, there we go, okay, okay. All right, all right, I'm a little dirt path. I'm a little dirt path. All right, I'm walking. I'm walking. All right. Why are my dogs crying? Tate, why? Did he find water somewhere? Pine, I mean. Pine. I would put money that he found water somewhere. You two are okay. Alia, you're kind of in a bush, but you'll be all right. Sit. Thank you. All right, I'm trying to be a chameleon real quick. Where'd they go? <gasps> Look at the little chameleon. Here, 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 here. Be a pink one. Be a pink one. Okay, orange is good on you too. Can I be orange too? Here, I'm gonna stand on this one. Let's see what colors I change. Oops, I can't see myself. Oh my goodness, too close, too close, too close. Ah, uh, too close, oh my gosh. Now I see, ah, that's why. All right, so I can turn green. Let's see if I can turn orange the way he turned orange. <gasps> you guys, I can turn orange like the chameleons. This is the best thing ever, oh my goodness. Chameleon, blending in with the chameleons, blending in, blending in. Oh, oh, there's one behind my head. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. That's precious. I love it. I love it. Can I still blend in? Can I still? Okay, so you really have to keep moving. If you stop moving, you stop blending in. But it's so cute. I just, I can't get over how cute it is. Okay, we're good. I'm done being a chameleon now. Sorry, guys. That was just so fun. I'm going to have to tell Alex that we absolutely love his present because it is just fantastic. I'm going to put away my little breakfast. All right. 
And now, finally, without further interruption, I'm going to take you guys over to where I have been working at clearing out some space. Come on, Pine. Come on, Alia. And trying to make room for where our tiger is going to be. And the exhibits are very spread out. They're not really in order right now. They're not really well organized. And that's just because we're kind of putting the exhibits there and then building our way between them. Like this is the hallway that will eventually be turned into uh, the Asian underwater and cave exhibit. So they'll have like a big giant beautiful river exhibit right here with cattails and a lot of the Asian um, carp maybe, Asian fish swimming around. And then over here, this is just a beautiful area. This is just so pretty. I could see us making some special like marble stalactites or stalagmites with devincing and just turning this into a beautiful spot that you can kind of sit and rest and just just tour a lovely little cave. Because I think, yeah look, you can see both sides. You can see both sides of that little waterfall. It's so pretty over here. So this will probably just be a nice beautiful little decorative area. And then we climb up here and this is where I have been doing a little bit of work. Dun 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 dun! And this, you guys, this is where we are going to be putting our tiger. So we've got to find the right spot over here, clear it out, and make space for our tiger's new home. And I made some paths. I made some beautiful little simple paths that will lead you down into, yes, Mr. Whitetail Deer, or Miss Whitetail Deer, who will eventually be moved over into the Whitetail Deer exhibit, that lead you down from way up there to way down here. This path just leads you up from the secondary path that comes through because uh, it kind of splits one upper one lower path that both lead to the same spot in the beautiful fungi forest. And this is where we are going to eventually be adding in all of- yeah you make a lot of noise. <laughs> This is where we're going to be adding in more of our Asian animals. Think the panda, red panda, um, the tiger, which actually I kind of want to put over here. And this is just like the other fungi forest where we're going to have to start clearing it out, like macheteing our way through with the glorious grafter just so we can figure out where the heck we're going to put things. Hey, Alia. Okay, watch out, guys. I'm going to be true to my word. Wait, why didn't you? Oh, whoops, there we go. Okay, there we go. Just took a second. But yeah, this is where we will be kind of kind of clear cutting our way through the forest a little bit uh, as needed so that we can figure out where the heck we're even going to put our tiger just because it's so overgrown back here. Oh, but there's little wild gardens. Oh, as always, the beauty and treasure of nature is just waiting to share things with us. What the heck are you? What the heck it'll do? What? Mara! Mara the Twilight Hero! She is just busy busy over there tonight. So what the heck is this? And this is lithium ore that apparently turns into lithium dust. That apparently like, turns into lithium chloride dust for I don't even know why. Uh, and it's getting kind of dark, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I feel silly. You're getting all the achievements. There we go. So she and Ben are busy killing things in the Twilight Realm. I should probably get out some torches about now. There we go. And actually, I did make some new little devincing lanterns, one of which is hovering in the air right now. But I wanted to make some new kinds of lanterns, and they, they did work, but it doesn't look like they're lighting things up. Some of them are lighting things up, right? But yeah, the devincing lanterns, uh, I flew around on Sunflower and put them up all over the place. And... Some of them aren't working right now. Why aren't you working? Oh, I guess it was working. It's just got a weird way of showing it. But they're a lot e There we go. They're a lot easier to hang than the little chiseled lanterns. And I really like the effect because it's just kind of like little Asian lanterns. They're not the best, but I did what I could with the blocks and tools available to me. All right. Yes, you are very noisy, wait till dear. I bet you're going, what is going on in my forest? This lady just moved in and she started cutting things down and building bridges. And it is that difficult balance, Mr. Miss Deer, uh, between progress and being able to respect and just leave nature alone. And that's always tricky. That's always tricky, but we have a zoo to build so that we can help people appreciate nature even more. So we're going to have to, like, like I said, we're going to have to just kind of chop our way through some of it, unfortunately, um, to clear the way. Where's my shears? Come here, shears. And then just kind of light the world up. But I've barely touched this area because I wanted to explore it with you guys. 
And let's see, is this is this good? Can I clear you out? Yeah, I can clear this one out. Oh, I can see for miles. Man, Mara and Ben are just getting the achievements tonight, making us look bad. Nah, see, you got you gotta celebrate personal achievements no matter where they're from for your friends. Oh look guys, it's pistachios! They might be killing Naga, but we are finding wild pistachios. What could be better than that? Really? What could what could be better? All right, there we go. Darling will be happy. He loves pistachios. But I was thinking of putting the tiger kind of over just like, hello, welcome to the area. And then like right back here is where I want to put the tiger. So it looks like I have to fill in some areas with dirt. And let's go ahead and see if I can clear out some more spots. All right, can I get you out of the way, Mr. Bush? I sure can. What about you? I sure can. This doesn't look so bad. Okay. This might even be some dirt right here that I could relocate. I'm hearing odd things, but I'm sure- Oh, Pine, do you want some zombie jerky? Are you getting hungry? There you go, Pine. There you go. You can enjoy that. Where's Alia? Where's your sister? Oh, that's fine. That's a demon horse. I should maybe get my- Let's get our safari nuts ready. Just in case, because that could be very interesting. Alia, there you go, sweetie. I heard a demon horse. You probably heard a demon horse. We all heard a demon horse. Now we just gotta figure out where the heck he is. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of dirt around here that I could probably move around. But what should we do for the tiger exhibit? So usually what we do is we look up the environment of an area where the tigers live. And it's going to be uh, southern Chinese tigers this time. And I'm thinking mostly about a waterfall. A beautiful waterfall coming off of a rock crevice that sticks out from the side of the mountain and then making it so that the tigers can have lots of area to swim but beyond kind of having maybe some bamboo as decorative pieces and keeping it a little bit more of a tropical theme i don't really know don't really have plans let's just clear this down a little bit i don't really have a lot of plans for what to do with our tiger exhibit so I want to hear what you guys think the tigers would enjoy the best. And let me know why you think the tigers would like that because of their biology. Pine, get out of the water. Get out of the water, Pine. Gonna run over here. There we go. Good job. But because of tiger biology and behavior, they are a little bit more social. So answer me this, you guys. I'm going to see what you know about tigers. Are they completely solitary? Or are they social like lions and live in prides? Or are they semi-social? I'm gonna give you just a minute to think about that. It's a pretty serious question. Because just because it's fun to have lots of a certain species of animal does not mean that you want to put a lot of that species of animal uh, in, a, in a spot. You don't ever want to inflict an animal among like more of its own kind if it doesn't like being with its own kind because you're just going to create a situation that's going to end up being very painful for that animal. Animals who are shoved together just because say say you really really wanted a lot of roosters. Roosters fight and if you don't know how to like have them live in harmony and have them have their own space your desire for having lots of roosters is just going to end up making the animals attack each other and be very unhappy and hurt each other. So you gotta really think carefully about if it's the right thing to do to have tons of animals um, of the same species in the area, even if you think it would be cool. And you're the first zombie I've seen here. How about no? Oh, how about no? How about way no? Oh! Sir, you can keep your head when you die, please. My goodness gracious. Freaking. Where is that zombie horse? Or that demon horse? Oh, it's not a demon horse. It's just a normal horse. You guys, we found some normal horses. All right, let's free them. You're free, guys. Maybe you are like the start of our. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Maybe these horses are the start of our meadow of horses horses discovered while we were preparing for tigers. That is so cool. But yeah, like I said, guys, really, a lot of times people will be like, Siri, Siri, get tons of this animal, get tons of that animal. But if it is not the right thing to do, if that animal is a solitary species and it does not enjoy being with lots and lots and lots of, of its own kind, um, then don't do it, because that's just not right. Oh, we got a zombie head! I, have, I don't think I've ever gotten, like, a zombie head before. Oh! 
Oh, my, my arrow's on fire. Man, you could really freak someone out like that. Hello, horses. I'm very excited to see all of you guys. Goodness gracious. That's going to be pretty pretty fun. I feel like we found our meadow of horses horses hiding in our Asian forest. Well, that's pretty cool. All right. Well, I was actually coming up here to steal some of the dirt. <laughs> so don't mind me, horses. I was actually coming up. Steal some of your dirt um, from up here. No offense meant. Okay, what's that? Oh, it's a cheetah and a skeleton. Okay, that's fine. <gasps> and look at this tree, you guys. It's got nutmeg and walnut and pears growing on it. Biological mysteries. Oh, I'm so happy. There's so many cool things we're finding. I really haven't ever been over here before, so this is super exciting. All right, I'm going to go ahead and gather up some dirt, even if it's kind of oddly done. Um, There we go. Hello, sweetie. Are you helping me pick up dirt? Well, that's going to make things a little tricky. Get away, goat. Oh, my gosh. The goat's out for my dirt. I know he is. Because that's what goats do, is they steal your dirt. No, stop. Okay, don't. I almost threw mole fingers at him by accident. <laughs> oh, that would have been horrible. The goat would have eaten mole fingers. Oh, that would have been terrible. All right, so I have a little bit of dirt. And we're going to see if we can fill up this hole. Because we are trying to make a tiger area. So... Long story short, if sometimes you beg and you're like, Siri, Siri, get like even more red wolves or get more and more of these animals. Some of them don't like living together. And if you force animals that are normally solitary to live together, they will fight. They will be miserable. It is not the right thing to do. That's a case of you just need to kind of appreciate what you have. Because there's some people who kind of do that with pet animals too. Pine? Pine. My little pine. You can't swim to save your life, my little pine. He just can't. It's so sad. All right, clear this underbrush out. All right, we're making some progress and the horses seem really happy that they can move around. They probably want like a big open field to, oh! Oh, I feel like I need to lay down. You know, this forest, I was like, wow, this forest doesn't have as many dangerous, deadly things in it as I thought it would. And then it does those, those kinds of things to me. Oh my gosh. I should probably be gathering up, oh, why, where, how. Puppies! To my rescue, please! Good job, Pine! Go for it! Oh, good job, guys. Alright. Oh, I have a little arrow right on the bum. Oh, no wonder. It's an uncomfy feeling. Alright, come here, Pine. Good boy. But we're making pretty good progress over here. I'm actually super happy about this. And I hear a cheetah, I think. All right, this is this is amazing that we have so many fungi forests around us. Oh, who, why? I just got attacked by something. It wasn't even clear what it was. Do I have an arrow on me? Nope, still just the one on my bum. Not cool. All right, there you go. Oh my gosh, Mr. Cheetah! Use caution, Mr. Pig! <gasps> Mr. Pig and Mr. Mole, are you two like dear devils? Look at what you're doing, Mr. Pig! Think about, think about this, please. We can talk. I can, I can give you a wonderful, glorious life. You can be Pigman Fern's assistant. Oh my goodness, Mr. Pig! If you like living on the edge, do I ever have a life to share with you? Just please, rethink your actions. Oh my gosh, can we save that pig? <gasps> if I put my hat on, maybe maybe we can save him if I put my little hat on. Ugh. Okay, gotta be careful not to cut down the tree that he's on. That would be horrible. Alright, gotta clear some space. Okay, tell me this isn't the tree he's on. Nope. Alright, Mr. Pig! Mr. Pig! Okay, I've got it. I've got it. Hello, Mr. Pig! I know you don't know me. But I'm I'm trying to tell you there are things that you could look forward to in life other than being other than being bacon. Alright, come come with me and, and I'll escort you Oh my goodness. <gasps> and I will escort you to Pigman Fern and you can be his that's right, Pigman Fern. You may have heard of him. The the zombie pigman that has now become a pig man. Maybe he can uplift you or maybe he could at least give you company and you don't need you don't need to contemplate falling into lava just to have an exciting life. Come with me, sir, and I'll try not to name you something like, like bacon or cooked pork chop out of out of hilarity. All right, I'm gonna pick him up. There we go. <gasps> we got him, and that horse. 
is walking on lava. Okay, clearly, Woo we need to secure this area at some point. And we have a new friend for Pikmin Fern who apparently really loves living on the edge. And what a day, I'm gonna sit down with one of my, oh, that's fine, now it's raining on me. I'm gonna sit down with our little footlong sandwich. And I gotta say guys, I'm really impressed. I like where we are. I like, I like what we've done. I like our plans for what we're going to do. And we are going to actively work on building up the tiger exhibit. We'll worry about finding an actual tiger. Uh, cause I don't think I have one. Yeah, I don't have one in the, in the, um, cryogenics lab, unfortunately. So we'll worry about finding a tiger later. For now, let's think about where and how we, we will build a tiger exhibit and what will be in it. So how will we entertain our tiger? How will we keep it happy? I'm thinking, um, like, like say right there, the side of this cliff side right here, make a jut of rock and then have a waterfall tumbling off it into a big beautiful pool that the tiger can enjoy and then we'll make like a little forest that it can lounge in maybe a nice heated rock that it can lay on to kind of warm itself so we're going to try to make this a very attractive nice pretty exhibit but also one that's very functional for the tigers so let me know what you guys think and any ideas you might have also any ideas for the area i have to say this area is just i know it's the same kind of biome as where we have our dinosaurs but somehow the ideas for what to add in here and put in here are just coming together so much easier and so much faster and i really like it so i can't wait to share more of that with you guys can't wait to get that noisy white-tailed deer over to the white-tailed deer exhibit where it should hopefully be a bit happier and we've got lots and lots of things to collect and lots of work to do Ooh, maybe we'll turn this into a pretty little pond there's ideas there's some ideas, and oh, I love the fungi. Maybe we should start naming each one of the fungi trees that we keep, that would be fun. But yeah, lots and lots of ideas. Uh, if you have other Asian forest animal ideas of exhibits we could put in here, add them to the list, and we will work on them in the future. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully the rain in this rainforest will let up a little bit. And we will start getting to work, kind of like picking the exact spot and figuring out what we're going to add into the uh, tiger exhibit. Oh, and we will also go see a super secret, awesome, amazing build that I have finished that I've been saving as a secret surprise to show you guys. So that's going to be really exciting to share. All right, you guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.